it's me, Mackenzie Marie, and welcome back to my channel. Have you seen those ads going around where it's like this person squeezing this gel stuff into a nail form, and then they press it on their actual nail, cure it, pop the nail form off, and it's like the most perfect nail you've ever seen in your life? Yeah? Well, me too. I've seen this on Instagram, TikTok, and even Facebook. I know, people still use Facebook. That's crazy. So after two months of Google cyber stalking me, I decided that I was gonna give in and I was finally gonna buy this poly gel stuff and see if these nails actually work and if it's actually as easy as this ad shows it to be. I still can't go to a nail salon, so I'm bringing the nail salon to me today. I am not a nail tech, I'm not licensed to do this. I don't know how to do this. I've just watched like two YouTube videos and I guess that makes me qualified to be able to do this home so let's try and see if this poly gel actually works today I went on my favorite online store Amazon I bought myself an entire poly gel kit I got the nail forms I got a brush the other end has a spatula on it a nail file there's a top coat and a base coat slip solution and a bunch of poly gels I also have a UV light thing to cure the nails because without this it's just not gonna work I am so excited to do this. If this comes out right, I'm gonna be doing my nails at home. Go buy a nail salon. I really hope this is as easy as that ad shows it because if not, I'm gonna be actually upset. There's a bunch of different colors that came in the set, so I'm gonna test out the colors and I'm gonna see what color I'm gonna be doing my nails with today. This is the first contender. I got a lot of glitter. Like today, I'm just gonna be doing glitter. Like there's regular clear, but like that's boring. So like who, who even wants that? I'm not vanilla over here, okay? There's a light blue. I'm also not gonna use this because that's too boring for me as well. Ooh, this one is so pretty though. That is sickening. I'm just gonna mix them all together. So far, I'm liking all of these. I don't know which one's my favorite. I don't know which one to choose. That one's pretty too. These are all the colors that I got right here. I don't know which one's my favorite. I honestly like all of them. Why are they all so pretty? I don't know what to do, man. They're all my favorite. These are the colors I'm gonna choose from today. I honestly like all of them and I don't know what color to pick. What color do I pick? So far it hasn't come with directions in the packets. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go on YouTube real quick and um, I'm gonna look it up because if not, it's just not gonna work. Why isn't there directions in the packet? Where are they? First things first, I wanna point out, this is not a tutorial, don't follow this. I've got the dual forms. Try to figure out which size fits where. There's so many sizes. I'm scared, dude. I feel like none of these are gonna fit my fingers. If it doesn't fit your finger, all of this stuff is just gonna spill out the sides. They make it look so easy online. I'm plastering stuff to my fingernails and if it doesn't fit, I'm gonna look like a moron. That's what I'm saying. I've gotten all the nail forms picked out. Base coat is first. I just want it to come out so good. Now I'm like starting to shake. I already feel my fingers shaking. I already feel sweat producing in the crevices of my palms. Now I put it in the little light thing. Let's go. Nail salon at home. Why are my fingers tingling? I got it on my skin. It's I feel it burning off my, my skin right now because the UV light, perfect, <laughs> lovely. Feels like acid to my skin. Gotta love that. Five star review so far. I have cured this hand. Now it's time to apply the poly gel to the forms. This is where I'm gonna start panicking. <laughs> I gotta grab the brush and I gotta use the spatula thingy. I also have to use this slip solution stuff. This stuff, stinky. Oh, that smells like formaldehyde. And don't ask me why I know what that smells like. I put a little bit of the poly gel on the spatula. Okay, that looked like probably too much. That's probably too much for the nail that I got. Probably should wipe that off. I put it at the base of, of the nail. Grab the brush, dip it in the slip solution, pushing it into the nail. Oh my God, this is kind of fun. I'm just gonna Put her in there. This is what it looks like so far. I am thoroughly enjoying my time doing this and it's kind of therapeutic. I'm going to try to stick it to my actual nail now. Oh God, is it spilling out? Oh my God, it's really stuck on there. What the heck? Now they say you have to like flip it over and like fix the back of it. Oh God, I'm just gonna like put it in there and hope for the best. Don't fall off, don't fall off. Don't you dare fall off on me. Oh my God, it's already hardening. Oh my God, and there's an air bubble in it. Oh my God, it's gonna look so bad, bro. Oh my God, oh my God. I worked so hard on that nail. 
To take the nail off, you pretty much just like squeeze the sides of it. And you go, oh my God, it's so hard. Oh my God, that's what she said. Eh? Wait, what? What the heck? Look at this nail. Do you see that? Do you see this? I did this. It feels so strong too. I gotta file this down real quick and I need to see what her situation looks like. I'm fantastic. I, I can do anything. I can do anything. I shaped the nail and I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks pretty sick. I kind of have impressed myself today. Go me. <laughs> it took me 20 minutes to do this one nail though. I can't believe I did this. I have to do the rest of them. Like I just need to know how this is gonna come out because I'm shook. I'm shook with the capital S-H-O-O-K, shook. I think I put way too much in this one. Like this, she's just thick. This might come out absolutely disgusting. Oh gosh, here goes the moment of truth. Oh God, I'm messing it up. Okay, straight, straighten it. I don't know what to do. It keeps like popping over. It keeps like falling down. All right, you know, I'm just gonna cure it. Wow, it dries so fast. Whoever invented this stuff, you're a genius. I figured out what the problem was. I was using the wrong size of nail form, so I switched to a bigger size. I did the next two nails and they came out so much better looking. My first two look so disgusting compared to the last two that I just did. And like, I'm not gonna say that I've mastered it yet because I definitely haven't, but I've only done one where it actually like sticks to the cuticle properly. The rest of these are probably gonna fall off in a couple days. The bottom part of the nail is like not sticking to my actual nail right, and it's because I used the wrong size of nail form. The first two look so wonky compared to like the last two I did. Well, I'm going to do the rest of my nails and then I'll tell you exactly what I think. If I can get the rest of them to turn out looking like this, this is like gonna be my favorite thing ever. So far, this is what it looks like. This is what I've learned. I take the dual form, I fit it to my nail, I press it down and I just make sure that it covers both sides, but not like press it down hard. The last time I was doing it, I was like pressing them down like tight. Instead of using this scraper, I just put it straight from the tube into the form, took the slip solution and like pressed it down to like the sides of the form. And that's what it should look like when I pop it on my nail. Pop it on the nail. I made this way too big. <laughs> Throw it in this light thingy. I take it out and then I flip it over and I put it in again. Why is this so fun to do? There's something about doing this that is just like so therapeutic and calming at the same time. I don't know why. I'm gonna put on like spa music and like vibe, bro. This is a vibe. Pop it off, I squeeze the sides of it and I just kind of like jiggle it like this. And just like that, my nail is off. Oh my God, I need to file this right now. This looks disgusting. This one's sealed to the bottom of it a lot better than the other ones. I'm probably gonna file her down a lot. And with a little bit of filing, that's what the nail turned out looking like. Let's do the rest of my nails now and see how they look. And now for the close-up big reveal of what my nails turned out looking like. Voila, here they are. Let me know what you think. I feel like I, I tried my best I possibly could to do these nails as best as I possibly could. The backside of some of them are just like so thick and lumpy, it looks disgusting. Some of the nails honestly are not the same size. Like it was so hard to make them all the same size. What do you guys think of my nails? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think I did a good job? Do I think it was as easy as the ad makes it look? Hell no. It literally took me two hours to do these. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or Twitch at Mackenzie Marie because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there and you should be too. I love you guys so much and I will see you here in my next video.